Welcome to part 15. We are trying to stabilize the new empire. We have about a billion core artifacts to go through probably, so I'm going to start there. Papal War Banner. Let's put up this tapestry. We can just get rid of all these extra ones. Ooh, not mine. Gonna give us a lot of money. All his hard work hunting down the drain. Look at all these. Jeez. So I guess we just put the blue ones up that have a little bit more. There we go. Oops, not that. Now we get rid of these extras. I hate how you inherit way too many of these things to even use. They need like a mass destroy button. Can't even destroy them if they're blue quality. Oh, we should have some good stuff here. Hey, how about that? So let's use the Girdle of Mary still. Skullcap of Charlemagne is really nice. Heavy Cav Toughness. Well, 5% Renown. Hard to say no to that. This is illustrious, but honestly not even that good. Get rid of Excalibur, I guess. Still only one book. No throne. No furniture. So I guess that's everything. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of these extra ones here in Poland. Have about a million things. Because I don't like having the extras. Oops. Okay. That's everything then. So we should be a little bit more powerful now that these are our direct vassals rather than the former emperor's vassals. Um, we can, maybe not on this character, but maybe on my next character, create some of these duchy titles to consolidate the lands a little bit. Um, it'll give us a lot of prestige on that character, whereas I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the prestige on this character. Uh, he's already 29. Right now, this is probably a mess. You can designate an heir? No. I think actually what I will spend some of this on is removing this law. Don't need that. Um, I could honestly just pass off some of these kingdoms here. Let's do this, actually. This is a pretty... Well, it was our former kingdom title, but let her have it now. Uh, these ones are all a little bit bigger. I guess we could... Well, Ancona has got a little bit of extra land. Now let's just hold on to that. Renowned Bison Hide. Nah, I'm good. Oh. Okay. And I guess what I'm going to start doing kind of soon is try to um, finish expanding here. I would like eventually to kind of take these kingdoms over. Uh, do I have anyone with like claims on these kingdom titles is what I want to see. Wow, that's a lot. We got some duchies. A lot of dukes with claims. Yeah, I don't know. So what do you guys want?
Just try to make these guys like us a little bit more. There we go. I just gave you your duchy title. Uh, Open-minded, that will help a lot. And... I guess we go like this. How close are we to being able to reform again? 1008, so probably not on this character's lifetime. So it's my second son again. You can raise your kids. Why is he still here? There we go. Oh, you got one on the way, okay. So we'll let you raise your daughters. These two. Um, give you something to do. You can convert her to Catholic. And then this grandson of mine will send a university. And I I think I'm probably just going to disinherit these two. I <clears throat> guess we can ask him to join a holy order. Let's see if he will do it. He does have the martial education. Will he take the vows? Probably less of a chance. He's not into it. He's not going to do either. They're probably end up gonna end up getting disinherited. Um, giving them one of these kingdom titles. They're just they're too big. It gives them too much land. It makes them too powerful. I cannot justify it. As long as you don't have guaranteed council rights. And he's actually a decent spy master, so that's that's okay. I need to start thinking where my next move is. A couple counties, that's not really worth it. Brittany, aha, how about that? Okay, well here we go, so we have an 80% chance of dying in this event. So I'm gonna kinda cheese this and disinherit these guys before that, pro tip. And we actually hit the 20%. But we need to do that anyway. So this guy here is actually a Satru, so this should be pretty easy. Is he fighting in a war right now? He is. What on earth are you doing that for? Insular. Is everyone up here Catholic? Ah, a little bit, okay. So we're not going to go to war as long as these are kind of threatening us a little bit, and they are right now. So you, we already gave gold to. I guess I can befriend you. Friends can't join factions, children can't join factions, and Characters that you have strong hooks on can't join factions. Getting a strong hook is going to be costly in terms of stress when you're compassionate and just, but for a strong hook on a powerful duke, I'll probably take it. That's why I'm looking in my court for some secrets. Just continue raising control, I guess. Um, so there you are. We don't really care about you guys anymore. Sorry. So we got the three granddaughters and one grandson. 
put him into stewardship. Yeah, this is still kind of threatening here. They're too weak, but it's right on the edge. Guess what we could do is get our army a little bit stronger here. bump these up to 500 as well. We got enough gold to do it now. Makes them harder to push their little factions. So we befriend him. He now can't join. He wants an alliance. That's fine. If all these were focused in the same one, then I'd probably have factions against me right now, but they're split up into two major ones, that's why I'm kind of able to avoid it just for now. It's not really skill, it's just kind of luck. So I, I think that me pressing this claim, I mean declaring a holy war here I should say, while is tempting, is probably not the move right now, because I'm going to lose some troops in a battle and then my army is going to get weaker, then they're going to be closer to pressing these claims. So she looks like she has something. Um, I'm just going to expose you. Oh, I don't, I don't want to do that though. Oh, she'll accept me just doing this. I guess we could just give this to our other son. One of you will become emperor of half of Europe and the other will become a count. I don't like people who have guaranteed council rights who force their way onto my council, so I try to get rid of those as soon as possible. I really need this empire to break up. If it did, I could probably gobble up all the land. So how do I do that? I could assassinate these guys and see if it uh, they go to war. I'm not very good at it on this character, that's for sure. My next character, yeah, he could uh, he could do it maybe. But for now, I think we have to be worried about factions still. Duke of Anjou. Okay, let's befriend you. You're the most powerful one in this faction, and you're not too old. Hmm. Yeah, I would love for this empire to break up right here. That would be huge for me. Going to war with another empire over a duchy claim just feels horrible. Doesn't seem like we have any good claims to press though. Being an emperor, we can press a kingdom claim against someone. and keep them as a vassal. And none of these look right. What's our development doing in our 22? It's not too bad. I kind of wish that that 80% to die had gone off. I could have been playing my air by now. 
if uh, if we get like 10 more years, I'll probably rather play this guy than my heir, so I might just like imprison him. Will that go off? 62%. Ooh, that's kind of risky. We'll see. Mostly because of his personality, I think. Stubborn and brave. Yeah. Higher intrigue than me? Same. These still feel kind of bad. Get out of these factions, guys. We don't need to be doing this. One member, three members, one member. Kinda on our way here. I think we're getting to the point where actually this guy's got some allies. He's he's not a pushover, that's for sure. I have almost 8k direct troops. He's got 3,500 here, but he's got a lot of gold and he's probably going to hire mercenaries and his ally will come. I think we can manage this. Do we have a holy order? So I'm just going to call my allies. I can't reform my culture on this character, so don't really need to save prestige for anything. We do have a holy order, but it's already hired, unfortunately. All the more reason to uh, form our own, eventually. Should I take these from you? So I can only take one, the rest. Okay, well. Renounce your claims. Well, that's good. Getting rid of kingdom claims means that they can't be pressed in a faction or anything like that. Just give this to my son as well. Is that your mercenary? Yep. Great Rohide. Okay, well I can just destroy that. for gold, so thank you. Are you... serious? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, there goes that son. Melancholic. There, that's a health penalty. Man, that's annoying. Come on. I honestly kind of hate these Norsemen because they have such strong, unique units. <laughs> They'll always win wars where you're like outnumbering them, even. Like 8k, like. It's so high. I'm an emperor getting pushed around by a duke. Please just stack with me. Yeah, I mean, if I lose this war, all, all I have to do is just pay him some money, or 1145. So I'll go into a little bit of debt, but it's honestly not the end of the world. Um, oh yeah, we definitely, definitely want you to renounce your claims. As much as I want some gold from you. She has a claim on my empire. So it looks like we're just going to have to let him have this one. Which is annoying, because really a duke shouldn't be uh, as strong as an emperor, but... <laughs> okay, I'm just going to concede. You, you got me, buddy. 
Don't mess with the Norsemen. See, these are getting too powerful because we got um, a bunch of our troops dying in battle. These bastards. We should be able to get this under control, I think. Maybe I should not have declared that war, I don't know. When you're in money trouble, I feel like it it automatically gives you events where it tries to get you to spend even more money to get you into more trouble. How did you guys get like this this quickly, man? Uh, I guess we could switch to Diplomacy and do this. I, I don't think it's going to make the difference, but it'll make people like us a little bit more. And every little bit counts right now. Um, I could always... Ooh, is that enough? There we go. Very close, very, very close. Yeah, I gotta be, I gotta be careful declaring wars right now. This, like, this is honestly ridiculous. There, there's no way that a duke should be as powerful, or more powerful than an emperor at this point in the game. Uh, but those Norsemen units... Actually doesn't even have them. His ally does, though. Big men, Bondi, these types of things. We just barely got away with that one. Uh, I think the thing that I want next is this, the better siege weapons. So we can go high crown authority, but I'm not going to press my luck on this character right now, because it's, uh... We got too many people that are a little bit too antsy to get me off. Get me off the throne. Need to focus on maintaining control. No. I do want to create these duchy titles and start handing them out, but I, th I think it makes more sense to do it on my next character. Because whoever I make a duke is going to really, really like me, but if I do it on this character and then play my son, then they're not going to care. Is she good? Decent. No. You can raise her. He's starting to get up there. Nine. Not too young. <clears throat> as long as he's an adult, I think I'd probably rather play him than this guy. We'll see. Uh, let's go for appeasing vassals right now. Brave, calm, zealous. Brave makes your vassals like you. Makes you more attractive. And firm. Okay, so we should go down pretty quick here. If I had this guaranteed, if I had a hook on him, then I would probably do it. But it's too risky. Oh, did I click the wrong one there? Jeez. I hate when that thing pops up at the same time and I tell them to F off and <laughs> it causes actually some tyranny, I think. Tyranny, minus one, okay, it's not too bad. Okay, so we finally do have the poor health. French herbs and plants. Is that my book in my court here? 
No, that's something I'm actually holding. Oops. This. Okay, so I think I'll take that off. Um, I'm just going to give it to him, actually. He can put it on early, have a little bit extra health bonus, and then we'll also die a little bit quicker, which we're just basically waiting around for. The Pilgrim's Guide. Okay. <laughs> my truce has ended, but I, I don't think I'm going to press my luck. This is a little bit too risky for me. It drains my gold so quickly, and he's very powerful. And we have another Dynasty Legacy. So for this one, generally what I do is I like to go Fecund. Um, it doesn't help with strengthening your bloodline, but generally it's not too hard to like get these from reproducing. Uh, so I do like Fecund generally with this trait, and then I don't marry into it, I just get it eventually. There we go. One year until we pass. Pass it on to our son. Uh, 37 is not too old, he, and he's he's stubborn, so... Uh, we, we can expand with him quite a bit, actually. We'll be able to put him into um, Stewardship Focus and get Architect, and then he's got 24. 24, just off the bat. So we're going to be able to hold a lot. Hopefully we'll be able to press this war and we'll be able to hold like all the counties in here. Almost. So we'll be able to get a lot more money when we're holding a lot more um, baronies directly, counties directly. But um, Emperor Valentino, his life is coming to an end here pretty quick. It was a good life. We fought a lot of wars, we conquered a lot of land, we became emperor on this character. Hard to complain. I think I'm probably going to wrap up this part as soon as I hit my next character here. Keep my money saved as much as possible. Yeah, we got a lot of counts in here that we can give duchies to. There it is. He died of heart failure at 58. So we've managed to pass everything on to our firstborn son. He's 37 at the time he takes over. 30 years rule. Not too bad. Emperor Valentino the Just. Rest in peace. Long live the Emperor. And we are going to pause it right there. And I will see you in the next part.